Hi YouTube, once again, my name is Pam Bam and I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to do an invisible part with a quick weave. Now, as you notice that I am finished with the top part and it's all, that's my part and this is how it's completed. Now, if you notice when I bent my head that I have this little section out and the reason I have this section out is because I want to show you how to do the closure I think that's important and I wanted to do it on camera now as you notice that this is my scalp right here part of the part this right here is the stocking cap and this is well, right here this is my hair and I wanted to do the closure on video because I think that's a key important part that a lot of people still don't know how to do or might need um, to learn. So this is what you do. You cut off a little piece of hair and just make sure you measure it to make sure it's enough to go in that little circle, to sit in that circle. So I just cut out a little piece because I'm just going to demonstrate how you do it. And you take the glue and you add glue on the track about halfway through. This is me adding it halfway through. Once you add it halfway through, you're going to take it and you're going to roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And once it's rolled halfway through, you're going to take the glue and you're going to apply it to the second half. And you're going to roll it and make sure that everything is rolled tight. The key word is closure and you're going to make sure that there are no holes in the closure so this part is going to be tight 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 and you're going to apply pressure and you're going to hold it like this and you're going to make sure that it's um, it's tight and it's dry and the way you know that this is dry is not just by holding it for 30 seconds because you have to make sure that everything is dry and sticking. The reason the how how you know that it's dry is when you see the gray glue, the bonding glue turns black. All of it turns black. And when you squeeze in it and you let it go, if it stay in place, you know that it's drying. So this is how you know. So after you do that, you're going to take it and you're going to flip it like this upside down. Now, another thing you're going to do is make sure you bend it so that it's upside down. And after that, you're going to take preheated flat irons and you're going to flatten it like this. I put a little bit of oil sheet on it to kind of like give it a little bit of heat to make sure that it stays down. You see that part versus this part. And this is all you're going to do all the way around until this is one is already done till you have a section like this and this is mine it's already done it's already been flat ironed and everything and you have to make sure that you have a center piece looking like this okay and then you're going to apply glue in the middle of this and you're going to kind of like split it down the middle like so 
and you're going to sit it right in that spot. I'm not going to do this on camera because I can't see. So I'm going to do it over here on my in my mirror. So once you get it in there, make sure you apply a lot of pressure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because you are making sure that the whole section all the tracks that you rolled up in one is laying flat so I'm applying pressure and I apply pressure like this I apply pressure like this and that's your closure see and it falls right in the middle of your part and sometimes you have to take a little bit of the hair and section it off and if I can do this right and you have to make sure that you comb it all the way around and this is still not in here right I mean it's not dry so I'm applying pressure until it's dry now I'm going to continue and move on because um, I don't want to just keep holding that. But I did wanted to show you how to do the closure. Now this right here is your quick weave with the invisible part. Easy, simple. A couple of things I do want to mention is that you have to make sure that when you're doing the closure part that you take your time um, with the closure. You also have to make sure you take your time when you're laying down your tracks for the centerpiece um, for the um, invisible part because um, if you're rushing and doing it, it's not going to turn out right. Um, again, make sure that when you're laying your tracks that you put them on top of each other like this. Make sure you stack them on top of each other like they touching one by one is touching almost like your fingers. One, two, three, like that. Not gaps. Because if you see gaps, you're going to see gaps in your part. Um, another thing is, is that um, you can always try to do a quick weave invisible part with um, cheap hair. This is inexpensive hair. And the reason I did really inexpensive hair is because I only last, my hair still only lasts about two weeks maybe. And then I'm moving on to something else. Um, I love, love, love changing my hair. So I always use very inexpensive um, hair. This is a um, little bit less than two packs um, of hair. It's not a lot. It's not really thick. It's not really thinned out. It's not heavy or anything like that because I like mine to look as natural as possible. Even though I know it's weave, but I still love for my hair to look as natural as possible. Um, another thing is make sure that if you like you can use a towel to put your to glue your tracks on as you see how I started off with a little bit of glue on here just imagine all this can be on your counter I don't like my counters getting messed up because I have very nice counters so so um good luck with your um quick weave and um, you will see pictures at the end on how I'm going to razor cut and curl my hair and please comment and um, send me questions appreciate it and thank you this is my first tutorial video I am not the one who liked to be on camera but uh, I thought I would try something new and start doing hair videos and check out my other videos um, family videos things I see on TV and look forward to more videos from Pam Bam peace deuces and God bless